Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back, back to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Yes, we are so excited to be here today, yeah. and we want to say a very big thank you yeah, thank to you. all our subscribers. Thanks for subscribing in our channel. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. And if you are coming across our video for the first time, we are the real estate couple. Yeah. My name is Lola. Yeah, I'm Shil. And yes, we are your one-stop channel for all the real estate information that you need here in Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah. Maybe you are thinking, should I invest or not into yeah. real estate? Or where, when, or how much will it cost? We are your one-stop channel for that. We are just a call away yeah. from that. Yeah. yeah. So, and there's something we used to tell our friends, some of our close friends, that even though if you are not buying through us, it's just give us a call. Let's rub minds together. Yeah. Before you invest into that property. Yeah. Because we've seen a lot of heartbreaking story about real estate investment. Yeah. And we've also seen beautiful what wise real estate investments and we're like wow that's actually worth it yes so let's dive in straight into what we have to discuss today and today we want to talk about Siwa Gardens should I invest in Siwa Garden mm -hmm. should you invest in Siwa Garden one of the things about Siwa Gardens is that Siwa Gardens is one of the trending estates now in the real estate industry here in Lagos Nigeria yeah and one of the reasons is that Tiwa Gardens is at a prime location. Yeah. yeah. And also, they are selling at a very good price because it's still at a pre-launch price, yeah. which, we which we, it will expire by the end of this month. Yeah. That's February 2023. Yeah. Yes. And the question now is that should I, should you invest in Tiwa Gardens? So now let me ask our architects, why should I invest in Tiwa Garden. Yeah. To start with, Tiwa Gardens in less than one month of introduction sold over 93 plots. Mm -hmm. The commercial plot is sold out. But the question is, am I supposed to invest in it because everybody is investing? Mm -hmm. One of the things that you must know in investment is that you must have a goal. Why am I investing in whatever I want to invest in? Why am I investing in this real estate? Is it for long-term investment? Is that investment tied to something? Is that investment for passive income or for cash flow, rental income? Am I trying to diversify my investment portfolio <clears throat> portfolio in the real estate industry? Okay. So these are some of the questions you must ask yourself. And one thing I will tell you is that if you want a short-term investment, Siwa Gardens is not for you. Because it's, a, it's an investment that will take time yeah. to mature. And you might ask me why. One of the selling point, <clears throat> one of the selling points is that it's near the approved Lekki International Airport. Yeah. Whether we like it or not, it will take time to build it. Yeah. So until the airport comes on stream, the value, um, the effect it will have on that place, it's, it still make it a growing mm -hmm. area. Yeah. And. All other facilities that is meant to support the Dangote refinery, the Lekit Free Trade Zone, these are new investments, new infrastructures that will take time to grow. Yeah. Whether we like it or not, the Lekki Free Trade Zone, the Lekki Seaport will not go as fast as the existing one. It will gradually grow. Yeah. And when you look at the environment itself, it's a developing environment yeah. that a lot of facilities still needs to be put in place. Tiwa Gardens is working on the site and service. So they are not just selling land. They are going yeah. to do the infrastructures, the road, the lights, and everything. And whether we like it or not, these things will take time. So if yeah. you are looking at just a, an investment where you just invest and get returns almost immediately, this is not, not for, you. for you. But if you are looking at real-time investment, yeah. investment that will be worth it, investment that you can hand over to your children, investment that you can use as a retirement plan, investment yeah. where you can diversify. Oh, I've been investing in this area before. Let me look for something new, something prospective, something yeah. that is going to work out. Then this is an investment for you. For you. Yeah. So 
these are some of the things you must look at when you are investment. So if what you have is, oh, this is what I want to do, I need where I can get rental income, see what guidance is not for you. Yeah. Because you can't start, even if you start building immediately, the possibility that people will want to stay there now, it's not so high. Yeah. Let's tell you the truth. Yeah. Because it's, 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 it's just coming up. Yeah. So a lot of people might not say, I don't want to stay here now, let me stay. So it's something that will be a gradual thing. Yeah. Let's say in the next one and a half years, two years, three years, because of the rate of development that is going on in that area. Yeah. But if it's something you want in the middle, oh, I want to finish my house in the next six months, I'm moving. No. I won't guarantee you that you should invest it. If that is your major reason for investment, oh, I want to buy a house, I want to live in the next six months, I want to yeah. buy a, a land where I can build. So these are some of the things you should look out for when investment but if you are looking for a long-term investment if you are looking for somewhere that you would buy and position yourself for what is coming this is an investment and this is one thing this is one investment you must also have in your portfolio whether yeah. you like it or not these are kind of investments you should have in your in portfolio, portfolio yeah. why because the best of real estate are bought cheap are bought when that place is still developing and wait for it to develop yeah. and so those are some of the best investments you should have in your portfolio yeah. so we are advising you so that you know what you want and we have different kinds of land in the place we have the 250 we have the 300 yeah. we have the 470 we have the 500 yes. so another thing about investing in ty is that you must know what and what you want to use the land for yeah. are you planning to buy for personal use, oh, I want to build over time. Then you can be looking at, maybe you want to build a small duplex. You can be looking at the 250, 300 square meters. But if you want something bigger, then you might be looking at the 415 or 500 square meters. Maybe, oh, I want to build a semi meter I want to do something like that. So you might, you might look at the 415 and 500 square meters. So even if you are deciding to invest into it, it shouldn't just be, oh, let me just buy something there. But you must also know, why am I buying? Bind. What do I want to yeah. use it for? As if the commercial was also available, I said, oh, come, am I planning to use for commercial? But there's no commercial again. So even if the residential, what do I want to do? In the future, am I looking at building something to rent out? Am I looking at building something to live in? To live in? Yeah. Or, so whatever you are, will determine the kind of land you're buying. So that when you now get to the time you need it, you wouldn't regret, oh, yeah, maybe I would have bought 500. This would have worked for what I want to do. So a lot of times, when you want to buy land, when you want to buy, know what you want to. Yeah. Even if you don't have something in mind, try and sit down. Okay, this is what they have. What do I think I can use this space for? And so that will now determine what you do. So you will determine what, what you should invest in in that land. Maybe you can even buy more than a plot. You might decide, oh, I want to use it for these things. Let me buy... 500, let me buy two of it. Let me buy 300, two of it. Can you give me side by side? It will work for what I want to do. So all those things put together will guide you to know, should I invest in Tiwa Gardens? Is it an investment that is worth it for me? So when you look at it personally, then you can now make your choices. But in the long run, a lot of times, real estate investments, your real estate investment portfolio must have at least one of this kind of property okay. if you've not had it. And if you had the habit, you can still join it to what you have because it's one property that will grow yeah. in the long run, but it's not for immediate, immediate returns. returns. Yeah. So thank you for that. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> so Tiwa Gardens is actually for a long term investment. Yeah. So let's talk about the price. Like I said, we have uh, the 250 square meter. Yeah. We have the 300 square meter. Yeah. We have 470 square meter. And we have the 500 square meter. meter. So for the 250 square meter, the 250 square meter is 9.5 million error. The 300 square meter is 12 million naira. The 470 square meter is 16 million naira. Why the 500 square meter is 19 million naira? So we have a payment plan for this. So you can pay within six months to 18 months with initial deposit of just 2 million naira to key in into this. Like we said, this is just a pre launch price. Yeah. The pre launch price will expire by the end of February. Yeah. And the new price will take effect from the 1st of March. 
so it's high time to key in, in to key in into this investment yeah. now yes yeah. so thanks for thank you for, for joining us today yeah. so that's all we have for two gardens yeah and if you are considering a short-term investment we have other property for you for yeah, that yeah you can invest so it. that's why we say before you make that investment just put a call through yeah to us so let's drop minds let's talk about it before you make that investment yeah it's very important and yeah. it's very key yeah, yeah. So thanks for joining us today. Thank so you see much. you in our next video. Yeah. Bye. Bye.